What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I wish I could say I was coming to you from Bullard's Bar Reservoir this weekend, but unfortunately, as you can probably tell, I am sitting at home in my garage on my camp chair with a cold one. Um, got up there on um, Wednesday afternoon and was able to fish for a little bit on Wednesday. Fished all day yesterday with my buddy James, and um, we're getting ready for uh, our club tournament this weekend, Saturday and Sunday at the lake. And um, we're given the unfortunate evacuation notices by the sheriff and the forestry department that there was a wildfire in the area and um, they were taking the precautionary measures to evacuate everybody from the camp campsites and we had to pack up all our gear and get out of there. Um, that was probably 8 o'clock this morning when that happened and at that time we were out on the lake fishing way up, uh, way up the main river. Um, we barely got the message because the signal wasn't very good up in that area, but we did manage to get the information and we were able to pass it on to uh, a fellow member Paul and his partner Steve that were farther up the river than we were and um, they did not get that message. So it was glad that we were able to get, get the, that information to them. Um, so yeah, we got down from up, up the river, pulled the boat out. Um, we had one other boater on the water. Um, couldn't track her down, but we knew she didn't have any gear and stuff at the campsite. So um, we made the decision to head back and get our stuff and get out. And then we'd come back down to the, the boat ramp. Um, um, and if she wasn't out yet, we'd go on and look for her. But um, by the time I got back, she got our messages and had just gotten off the water. So everybody's safe. We had, uh, I don't know, 12 or 15 people up there today. Um, unfortunately, Ian and his partner Kyle just got there um, right before the evacu evacuation order. So they made the three and a half hour drive up there um, just to find out they had to turn around and go home. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, like I said, everybody was uh, out and safe and we were able to assemble down by the dam at the main parking lot and kind of just chat about it a little bit. Um, watch the smoke coming from over the hill and watch the aircraft attacking the fire and then um, we all just decided to pack up and leave. Um, I think there was a few people who had not left uh, home yet or maybe they were just getting on their um, on their trek and we were able to track them down and told them to turn around and go home. So anyways, time to put away the camping gear, have a nice frosty cold one and then um, maybe go to Lake Sonoma tomorrow and I'll get an updated lake report for Lake Sonoma possibly and then uh, we'll wait and see what happens uh, the term is probably canceled for now and we probably won't reschedule anything like that just because of the travel time expense of getting there for everybody um, but I do have some video from yesterday uh, around the lake and stuff and a few fish catches so I have to put that all together and I'll get that posted maybe this weekend for everybody at least you can see the lake and see a couple of fish that 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 I was catching um, both the small ones and the one big one I got yesterday so uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time. Have a good day.